Uh, we do a lot of engine swaps around here. The biggest thing when we do engine swaps is most of the time the motors are bolted in the car and no one does the wiring. So in doing wiring, you have basic tools like multimeter, strippers, these are actually from Radio Shack, nothing crazy. Uh, shrink tube, lighter, soldering iron, information, but probably the most helpful tool that I use to help us do engine swaps is the labeler. Uh, the biggest thing is, is when you're doing a car that has a lot of wires or you're not sure of wires, like this 1JZ in a MK3 Supra, uh, you'll find that I have tons and tons of wires. Then all of a sudden you'll start seeing labels. This label says ignition power, meaning I need ignition power to turn on this harness. Um, as you get farther and farther inside the car, you will find even more labels everywhere. Check engine light, tack wire, speed sensor, oil pressure, and so forth. So the biggest thing that helps us get the job much cleaner and more effective on wiring is as I figure out which wire it is, I label it. So that way in the end, when I find it's necessary white that wire that goes with it, like this is the ABS speed sensor. When I figured out the speed sensor input from the engine, I wired it on because I already knew where it was on the chassis. So if you're gonna try to do your own wiring on your car, go buy yourself a cheap labeler. They're, I think 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, and then as you move forward, label each wire and then that will help you in the end, make sure you wire up the right wire. Or have us do it for you.